closer look at the world of PNR, passenger name record, and its saving options. Now, I know these terms might sound a bit technical, but fear not. We're going to break it down into bite-sized pieces that even beginners in the travel industry can digest. Okay, let's start with PNR. Imagine it as the digital DNA of your travel plans, a unique code that holds all the details of your journey. Now, when it comes to saving your PNR, think of it like saving document on your computer. It's all about preserving your work for later use. Now, the basic save and redisplay option. Picture this out like you are working on your travel plans and you want to make sure all your changes are locked in. That's where ER comes in handy. It's like hitting the save button on your PNR document. Type in ER and you have preserved your journey details. You can retrieve and edit them whenever you want, just like reopening a card. Now, let's move on to some more advanced options. Have you ever been working on a document and thought, I want to save this, but I'm not done yet. That's where ET steps in. It's like hitting save and close button. Your PNR is safe and sound, but you're not actively working on it. It's like saving your progress and taking a break. On the other side of the spectrum, let's say you have started working on your PNR, but then decided, you know what, I don't want to save this right now. Enter ID, it's like hitting don't save button when you're exiting a document. Your PNR won't be saved and it's like you never started editing. It's handy option for those moments when your plans change. To sum it up, it's all about choosing the option that fits your current task. ER for saving and keeping it open, ET for saving and closing, and IG if you decided not to save at all. These commands are like having your own travel saving toolkit, making your journey, planning, experience smoother and more efficient. So the next time you find yourself navigating the PNR world, remember these simple commands. They are your travel saving superheroes ready to make your journey planning a breeze. Happy travels, everyone! Now that we have mastered the art of saving PNR, Let's delve into the optional elements that can spice up your travel details. Think of this like adding extra flavor to your journey. It's all about personalizing your experience. First, we have OS which stands for Other Service Information. It's like adding special notes about your journey, maybe dietary preferences or any unique requirements. It's like little details that makes your travel experience just right. Next on the list is SR, or Special Service Request. This is your go-to for anything special you might need during your travels. Need assistance for a person with reduced mobility? Just pop in an SR and consider it noted. It's like having personalized travel concerns. Now, let's talk about RM, which stands for Remarks. This is your space to jot down any extra information or special instructions you might want to include in your PNR. It's like leaving yourself a helpful note for later or providing crucial details to the people handling your journey. Last but not the least, we have FF which stands for Frequent Flyer Numbers. If you are a member of a Frequent Flyer Program, this is where you input your magic numbers. It's like having your loyalty rewarded with your journey. So to sum it up, these optional elements are like the seasoning to your PNR recipe, OS for specific details, SR for personalized services, RM for additional remarks, and FF for your loyalty perks. Mix and match these elements to create a travel plan that suits you perfectly. Armed with these optional elements, you're ready to not only save your PNR but also customize it to make your journey uniquely yours. Happy travels and may your PNR be as vibrant as your adventures.